let me be a lawyer for a moment. A lot of bleeding hearts, including senators of this republic, are complaining about the death rate in the fight against drugs. And by last counting, they say it's about 1,000. Well, you know, place it at a very, I said, conservative estimate. Let us now say that there are about 400 drug addicts no longer eligible for rehabilitation, for they are really crazy. And out of their senses and no longer have the, no longer have the cognitive value of their person, of their talent. So what do we do with it? There are about 300 dead living Filipinos. You know, it's very easy to complain. We in government, and I myself who ordered the campaign against drug, take full and sole responsibility for it. And for those who are killed in a police operation, in a firefight, we are willing to submit ourselves for an investigation before anybody, and I would like also to just say, why would the United Nations be so easy to be swayed into interfering in the affairs of this republic. There are about just 1,000. There are a lot of people, innocent women, child, young women, young men, old men, old women, being killed elsewhere in this world without even saying the slightest just. Take, for example, in the Middle East. I have yet to complain the United Nations complaining publicly, even not criticizing the countries who are into it and bombing villages and communities, killing everybody there, including the goats and the cows and the dogs. I have yet to complain the UN president state publicly over and over again because of the loss of the lives of innocent people. That is the problem. And here comes the UN easily swayed and coming on a very stupid proposition of that. You know, for those who are killed by the other drug syndicates, we can only investigate, but do not attribute the acts of other criminals upon my government. I say the, the, the easiest way of really just uh, being into politics.